Today we are looking at 2022 Year of the Water Tiger and what is in store for each sign. It's all coming up. Hi everyone, I'm Donna Stellhorn, your practical astrologer, here today to talk to you about Chinese astrology and the Year of the Water Tiger. And we're going to be looking at each individual sign. Now I did already two videos on the overview for the general energy for the year, so you might want to check those out. They are, there are links in the description. And there's also going to be timestamps there, so you can jump right to your sign for this video because we're going to look at each individual sign. Now, I am primarily a Western astrologer, but I have been writing books on Chinese astrology for the last 11 years, so long time. Uh, but I do it from a Western perspective, so I hope you enjoy this video. I really appreciate all of you, all of your comments and uh, your support. It's been fantastic. If you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the like button because that helps the algorithm send out this video to more people. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Rat Native, the focus for you this year is going to be on communication and thinking process and how you are reaching people in the community through verbal means or, you know, written or things like that. It's like everything about how you communicate is highlighted for the year. And so this might be that you're writing, teaching, uh, maybe this is the time to get your book out. Uh, it's also possible that you're just working on your internal process of how you're speaking to yourself. You know, are you uh, doing negative self-talk or are you really making an effort to look at things from a positive way? You know, are you breaking habits when it comes to your communication? Or you might be looking at your style of communication and saying, you know, that, that you have a certain style and you're not going to adjust for other people or maybe you're going the opposite way and you are adjusting. But this year, in the tiger year, there's going to be a lot of of energy around things that you are thinking about or talking about. And it is quite likely that you could be asked to speak in front of a group or you maybe have a book that you're going to put out. Now this year you may benefit from returning to practices that are involving investing or how you handle debt. And so perhaps you used to do investing and then you got out of the market or maybe you have been in the market a lot but you used to not be in the market and so this might be a time to pull back. You just need to think about what you used to do in years past and what was the prevalence of what you did and then take a look and see how that might benefit you now. Is the same goes with debt. You perhaps you were very focused on paying down debt or altering interest rates or things like that. So going back to a practice of that, or maybe you were, uh, you know, like completely, you know, against getting any new debt. And so that was the focus. And so looking at something you've done before in this area. When it comes to your career, uh, the energy is about looking for something to let go of. And so this may be that you're letting go of a job or uh, certain aspects of your job. If you own a business, perhaps you are delegating some things or you're contracting some work out. Maybe you are letting go of the job entirely. Maybe, maybe this is the time where you want to change vocations or move into a kind of retirement. So the area where you're supposed to let go or free yourself of something is career. The area where we see that you need to work harder is in the area of friendships and community. And this might be that because of all the craziness that went on for the last couple of years that you are not so involved in organizations or groups, you haven't been doing networking, you've lost touch with friends. And so this is where the focus is to expand that again. And it is an uphill climb. This is where you're going to have to lean in because it won't be that easy to do. It's going to be something that though, when you do work at it, will bring you some great results. 
you are going to benefit a lot this year by increasing the amount of spiritual work that you do. And that could be in, you know, adding rituals into your daily life or uh, just being more mindful, maybe doing meditation or things like yoga or Tai Chi, but things that that put you in touch with the greater universe and so that you are, you know, in alignment with the powers that be. This is really beneficial. This is where you can tap into luck and synchronicity and opportunities can happen. Now this year, it's very important for you to be kind to yourself. Uh, and this is in the relation of your physical self. And so that is if you have been very, very strict on maybe eating habits or things like that, perhaps you are easing up a little bit. Maybe if you have not paid attention to this and you have not eaten you know, nutritious food, now you're gonna eat the nutritious food to be kind to your body. And this also may be getting more sleep, certainly getting more exercise. All of these things are going to help you a great deal this year. And finally, the area where you should be changing directions and really moving forward is in the area of money because you have a ton of money opportunities this year. They are somewhat outside your comfort zone. And so this is where you are just leaning in and pushing forward. But financially, you could have a really excellent year. And that is by doing new things, still planting seeds, which you've been doing for the last couple of years, you know, trying new things, but certainly Certainly when you see money opportunities, really pushing forward and doing it, even if it is outside your comfort zone. Okay, for ox natives, where you are really putting your focus in the year of the tiger is going to be in your area of finances because this is an area that's really lit up for you. And so many opportunities are going to be available. You can make more money than you've made in a long time. Now, this is still, you're still in a seed planting time. And so you're needing to do new things. And I know for ox natives, this can be challenging. And in the wild energy of the tiger, maybe sometimes you can feel a little overwhelmed by that. So, but this is a time that even if you just start something, you will see opportunities and ability to capitalize, you know, on uh, connections that you have or products that you're gonna sell or, you know, business opportunities as well as career opportunities as though those two things are different. <laughs> so this is also about looking at the amount of stuff you have and deciding what you want to keep, what's useful to you. And if the amount of stuff you have is actually a burden and if it is finding ways to get rid of some of that stuff. So the, the highlight this year, money and stuff will help you in all areas because this is where the universe is putting the most energy for you. Where we see you going back to something you've done before is in your area of relationships. And this could mean that you are returning to a past relationship and you're giving it another go, or this is that you are returning to good relationship practices that you've had in the past. Maybe you're returning to seek seek counseling or perhaps you are you know using different ways so that you can open up lines of communication and not get into old arguments and things like that so so where you are kind of returning to best practices from your past is definitely in that area of partnerships and relationships. Most of that, by the way, is going to be love relationships, but that can also be extremely close friendships or business partnerships. Where we see you needing to release something to let it go is actually in the area of knowledge or beliefs. And so starting with beliefs, perhaps you are letting go of some limiting beliefs, things that have held you back for a long time, these could be things from childhood. These could be uh, beliefs that you formed even in college or something like that, and now you're letting go of. Now, additionally, this is also about letting go of knowledge, and that would be that you are teaching or writing or instructing others. So you are releasing the knowledge that you have into the world to benefit many. So, so you're doing those two things of the letting go of limiting beliefs and also releasing your knowledge. Where we see you having to work harder or, you know, like kind of shoulder the grindstone, is it shoulder? 
it's nose, nose to the grindstone, <laughs> wrong body part, is it's in the area of career. And this means that it's just tougher to do your job these days. And that could be because every, you know, the company's shorthanded, there's not as much uh, of a workforce, um, the demands on your productivity have gone up. Maybe there is more competition in your industry. Perhaps your industry is struggling. And so even if you change jobs, it's challenging. And so this is where the, when you put effort, you get the benefits and that is, it's not that this is just hard for no reason. It is, it's asking you to climb up the hill and there you get the better view. So that's where you really want to lean in. And so if something seems hard, it's probably going to be in that area of career where you're getting the blessings and that connection with the universe is within the community and friendships. And that means that the more that you, you don't need help or you don't want somebody to channel that shoulder to lean on, that one is a shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> so that's when you go out into the community or you ask your friends and suddenly you get a bounty of support. This also says that you can find some benefits through uh, astrology and through the uh, timing with astrology because astrology is all about time. And so looking at doing things at the right time, maybe timing it based on the moon or based on the transits you're doing so that you can get good timing that can be really beneficial where you need to be kind to yourself is in rest and recuperation. And so this is that you're going to need more sleep or at least to allocate more time for sleep. If you are a person who doesn't sleep well, maybe this means you need to redo your bedroom. Um, maybe it means that you need a different bedtime routine, but there's something here that says, you know, you need more quality rest. And maybe that is just when you are taking a day off, you're doing less on social media or less on with a screen and more walking in nature and connecting with the things that you love to do. So uh, where we see you needing to be kind to yourself is in that area of rest and recuperation. Finally, where you're focused on changing directions and moving forward is with you. So the, the energy is extremely focused on you doing something different than you've done before. And that is, you know, kind of being the new you, uh, oxidative, you, you guys can get very, uh, much stuck in a rut because you're so busy completing tasks and finding the efficient ways of doing things and working so hard that oftentimes you don't recognize that you have have every right to be confident and that it is very helpful for you to explore new hobbies, explore new interests, meet new people, and even change something about yourself. And so that might mean changing what you wear, uh, changing, like getting a tattoo or ear piercings or starting to wear a hat or something like that, like changing something like that about yourself, which, you know, says to the world, here I am, notice me. Okay, Tiger Natives, of course you guys are the star this year. This is your year. And that's, it's, it's like a, a, it's wonderful and there's a burden at the same time. And so the wonderful part is that the entire world's attention is on you. And so as you say that you need something, as you, you stand up and say, I'm going to go in this direction, you can get a lot of help and assistance where it's hard is it's very difficult for you to stay in the same thing you were doing before, because this is a time where if you plant new seeds, if you start something new, that's where you get the big benefits. Additionally, even thinking about you doing the old stuff can make you just grind your teeth because you're possibly so bored with what you're doing in your work or in your relationships or the kind of things that you do as a hobby. You're just done with those and you want to do something new. You want to have an adventure. And so that's, it's a time to be thinking bigger and then putting that out to the world and seeing who's going to step up to support you. And there will be those who open doors, who give you some extraordinary opportunities, but you need to say, 
this is what I want to do. Now, the, the one area where we do see it's beneficial for you to go back to a best practice from before is about your daily routines, habits, or your scheduling. And so there was something about what you were doing before in this area. Maybe you had some really good morning habits about journaling and, you know, making yourself a smoothie and doing a meditation, or maybe you were doing block scheduling or a bullet journal or something like that, but you had something before that was part of your habits or your daily routines that was very beneficial. And this year, it's a good idea to go back to that. When we look at what you should let go of this year, uh, you're probably going to let go of a lot anyway, because when you start a new 12 year cycle, like you are, none of the old things seem that interesting or that fun or they don't even fit anymore. And so there is a lot of letting go, but the specific thing to let go of, or a couple of things is one is debt let go of as much debt as possible, clear those things out, get the lowest interest rates you can, but really focus on, you know, letting go of that type of obligation. And the second thing to let go of is grudges. Uh, if you've been holding on to anger or frustration for a long time, it is time to somehow find a way to release it. I know it sounds like maybe then you're letting the other person off the hook, but the problem is that hook goes both ways and you're just as hooked as they are. So it's, it's time to look at what you can let go of in this area. Where we see you putting in the effort and needing to work harder is on education. And so if you're in school, it makes total sense. Um, maybe you are, you know, moving up into graduate programs or you're taking tests so that you can get into college. Uh, perhaps you are just, you know, with that last little bit and you're trying to finish things up. But otherwise, this is about adding the learning into your daily life. And that can be that you need to work on some things for your job. You need to, you know, beef up your skills in that area, or maybe you just need to get more skills. I mean, the more skills you have, the more marketable you are, but this is something where you may be feeling like it's challenging where you have to work at it. And so this is the thing to keep in mind where we see your luck and where the universe coming down and and you know blessing you is in the area of career there's some huge opportunities for you if you want to change jobs if you want to change positions within your company you want to move up the ladder this is where you can send up that prayer and get some benefits and so once you make the wish then things open up and you can move forward so you know, even if something seems like it's not good, like being let go of a job that you were not quite ready to let go of, but then so soon after you find something that's far better, it's, it's like, it doesn't, it's not all rainbows the whole time, but over the course of the year, you can see that the hand of the universe really helping you out. Where you need to be kind to yourself is in the area of friendships. And that is that if you have a friendship where you come away from it drained, if you feel like you're always the one doing the calling or you're always the one doing the planning, it may be time to back away from that friendship and not do so much. It's time to allow your friends to come and help you. And maybe you are a person who is so self-sufficient, so you know, ready to do everything for yourself that you're not even letting people in so that they can help you. And so that's something to look at. But this is, you know, asking yourself, if you were looking for a friend and, you know, somebody who was great in your life, but none of your friends really qualified, maybe it's time to look at being nice to yourself and and saying, I'm not gonna push in the area of these friends, I'm going to look for new people. Where we see you uh, changing directions and really moving forward is in your area of psychic ability and spirituality. And that is that maybe you have been dabbling in this area and now you wanna get serious about it, or perhaps you are pulling in spiritual practices on a daily basis. Uh, such as doing prayer or meditation every morning or finishing the day by lighting a candle and writing in your journal. Or maybe you're going to some 
something more formal where it's in a building or there's a group of people, maybe you're doing something with the moon or something with a conventional religion. So, but if this is about connecting to the bigger universe and if you focus in this direction, you'll have great success in lots of areas. So rabbit natives, where you guys are really lit up this year is in the area of psychic ability and intuition, like that's different. <laughs> and you're highly psychic already, but this is your psychic ability really t turned up to, you know, the highest volume. And so, so this is the awareness that that you are tapped in to so much. And so there'll be some times where you need boundaries and uh, where maybe you haven't had boundaries in the past. And so starting with that to make sure that you're okay. So like if you're extremely open, it's good to know that you can close a door if necessary. So that would be to uh, visualize, you know, white light around you or a shield around you or to when you come home from the day to do something to clear your energy. That could be smudging yourself or, you know, uh, taking a bath with salt in the water or being in the shower with the salt in the washcloth and then squeezing that salty water over you. So the energy here is you're more psychic, so get a boundary. And then you do have the ability also to send things out and have them become more viral, to send something out into the world and have it grow bigger than you were ever thought possible because you are so open. It is also about, uh, you know, realizing when people are going to call you and what people are thinking and, and just having more of an idea of the flow of things. And so that can even work for you in, in your investing, where you might be very aware of where people's energies are heading. And so as, as you get into this first, uh, you know, into this year, uh, first establish your boundaries and then slowly, uh, you know, open the door, close the door and practice allowing the energy in and sorting through all the data that you get from the universe and then closing that door and becoming yourself again. So doing that, I think is really going to help. Where we see you going back to something you've done before is in the area of creativity. So this might be some fun thing that you used to do and now you're really drawn to do it. Maybe it's playing music or doing art or some sort of crafts that you were doing, but we see you going back to some sort of creative thing and doing that again, especially to bring joy into your life. Uh, this is, this is a really good way for you to have some fun where it's not connected necessarily to a screen or a, you know, something that maybe is not beneficial in the long run, you know, like overeating or over shopping or something like that, which, you know, by the way, when you're very psychic, sometimes just, just that desire to escape can be, can make you overindulge. So looking for an art project or music or something like that, that you did before, uh, that can bring you a lot of joy this year. When we look at what you could be letting go of, uh, it is in your house of relationships. And so this may be that you are ending a relationship this year. That might be a love relationship. It could be a friendship. Uh, it could be a business partnership. This could mean that, uh, you know, this was something that was on the outs already, and maybe you're just finishing up the legal paperwork, or this is something where you had kept pushing and saying, I'm going to make this work. I'm going to make this work. But now the universe is saying, mm, no, it's time to just throw up your hands and say, okay, I've done enough. And so as you let go of something like this, then new opportunities and new people will come in. Where we see a need to work harder is in the area of investing and uh, creating passive income sources or expanding a business. And this is where, you know, you're faced with the hill. And if you climb the hill, you're going to have this marvelous view. You're going to have success, but it is work. It's work to climb a hill. And so that means not just, you know, 
closing your eyes and pointing at an investment and deciding to invest in that, but doing the research, really understanding what the investment involves, looking at your debt load and figuring out ways to cut debt. Uh, also, uh, you know, how to save money on taxes, how to do your own taxes, perhaps. So all of these things uh, that are around investments and finance, that, those are the things that show a need for harder work this year. Where we see your luck and your connection to the universe is in the area of education. And so this could mean getting a scholarship or some sort of funding for education or that you want to take a course, but you can get a scholarship through a private person. Uh, this could mean that you are uh, teaching and this, so you get a great teaching job. Uh, this can also mean that if you are taking some sort of professional exam, you know, you're going to be a realtor or a CPA or a lawyer or something that you have really good luck on the test. And, uh, so everything comes together and, you know, the universe is helping you remember those facts and figures and all the other stuff that you need. So that that's where you show a great deal of luck that can even be getting great teachers getting a good consultant to help you find educational opportunities. So all of those things around education. Where you need to be kind to yourself is actually connected to your career. And that is if you've been pushing really hard year after year, it's time for you to coast a little bit in this area, which I know sounds funny, but it is for you to recognize that you are good at what you do and that you don't have to continually put yourself second or be scared that you're going to lose something and never be able to get it back. If you do happen to lose a job uh, during this year, the universe has stepped in to help you out, to get you something better. So look at it as a blessing in disguise. Also, if you have constantly gone over on your hours, like you, you just can't seem to get away at the time where you're supposed to be finished with the job, whether that's 5 p.m. or whatever, but if you're constantly doing unpaid overtime, this is a time to pull that back and start to be kind to yourself and say, it's, you know, it's just 40 hours a week or whatever the schedule is, and I'm going to stick to that. Finally, where we see you making the biggest changes and moving forward is in the area of friendships and community. And that is the more friends that you connect with, uh, the more you get involved in community organizations, the bigger your opportunities are going to be, the easier things are going to be. And so this is where the we see the lot of happiness coming in. So that is if you have not gotten involved in groups for a while because of all the craziness of you know, separations and all that time to get back into groups, professional organizations, charitable organizations and things like that, or, you know, setting up your own meetup group or, you know, just hanging out with your friends and, you know, finding those friends who are going to be supportive, who really though encourage and inspire you to do more. So this is where we see a lot of your strength coming and a lot of opportunities. Okay, Dragon Native, the area that's really highlighted for you in the Year of the Tiger is going to be uh, friendships and community. And that means that the more people that you meet, the more success you can have. It also means it's time for you to get really involved in the community. And that can be different organizations, uh, different groups that, of like-minded people. And so by community, it doesn't necessarily mean your neighborhood. It could mean that people all over the world, but they are in your niche. They are, they are like-minded people. And this is about getting involved. And that means that not just sitting on the sidelines, not just showing up for the meetings, but maybe taking a board member position or being a member, you know, board member at large or being on a committee, but, uh, or even forming your own organization. So everything here talks about how you're building your tribe or you are finding your tribe. And when you do, fabulous things happen. Where we see you doing something that you've done before, it's in the area of home and family, which is interesting. So this might be that if you're thinking about moving, you're moving back to 
uh, a place where your family is or maybe a place, an area of the, the world that you have lived before. So, but this also can be that there's something familiar about what you're doing in the sense that, you know, like if you used to live in an apartment, you're gonna live in an apartment again, even though you might've lived in a house between that, or maybe you lived in something quite small and now you're downsizing to that size again. Uh, there's also some energy here that says that you're just not gonna make a change in, at home at all. And so the sameness that we're seeing or this return to something is more just continuing uh, this status quo. And so that this is an area where you're not putting a lot of energy on. And so you're just gonna stay put. Um, maybe things don't get it repaired. You just put it off for a year. Not, I mean, that sounds bad, but like you're not doing big renovation projects or things like that. So it's either a move to something familiar or something you've done before in the way of the type of dwelling or the location, or you're not moving at all and you're not really working on the house. You're not really doing much that in that area. When we look at where you should be letting go, we see this in the area of habits and routines. And so there's something about maybe negative habits, uh, bad health habits or things like that. And those you should certainly let go of. And you have more energy around letting go of those this time. Maybe this is that you don't schedule yourself and it's time to schedule. So you're letting go of this, the willy nilly free form schedule, or maybe your schedule is too structured. And so you're gonna give yourself a freedom. So you're letting go of scheduling yourself. Um, but most of this is around uh, habits. And so it's looking at what habits are not benefiting you and letting go of those. Where we're seeing a need to work harder is in relationships. And these are the very tight personal relationships, like a love relationship, a very close friendship or a business partnership. And so this is where the effort is needed. And that might mean that you are going to counseling or that you're really taking time to understand your partner, that you're getting out of old arguments and you're just you know, trying to move on so that you can really connect on a much deeper level. And this is, it's like if you are willing to work at this and it still doesn't work by the end of the year, then you're going to know for sure that this relationship is done. But what's more likely when we see the hard work energy connected to this is that you're climbing the mountain and you get to the summit and then things are better. And so that's, that's the whole reason to work hard at this. And so that is in your area of relationships this time. Where we see your most luck happening and where the universe is stepping in and helping you out is in investments and passive income sources or business income. And so this is where you can have, you know, some influencer just happens to use your product and boom, you know, sales go up or just in general, people get more excited about something that you're already involved in. Maybe that, that a, a stock that you own is mentioned and so it it rises, but there's a lot of luck and opportunity connected to these things. You also have extra luck when it comes to getting loans or funding for things. So if you want to do a, a GoFundMe um, page or Kickstarter or Patreon or something like that, this is the time to do it because you're getting a lot of help from the universe on this. Where we see you have a need to be kind to yourself is in your area of beliefs. And that is if you are holding on to beliefs that somehow put you as a less or um, a belief that says that, you know, you, you're not going to be able to make it, you're not smart or you have, you have too strong a learning disability or something like that, you know, to ease up on that, to be kind, to be compassionate with yourself. This is also if you are carrying a lot of guilt from the past to look at if those, if, if there was a reason for you to feel guilty, if you really did something wrong, then finding a way to make amends for that. And that's a way to be kind to yourself. And even if you can't make amends to that person, to make amends to society, but to also consider 
that maybe the thing you feel guilty about wasn't your responsibility. And so the guilt is misplaced and then being kind to yourself by releasing that. So this is about looking at beliefs and, and saying to yourself, all right, you know, is, is this something where I'm just being too hard on myself? And if I was more compassionate with myself, would things go better? Where we see you changing directions and really moving forward is in the area of career. It's quite possible you're changing jobs this year or even changing vocations. Uh, you might be moving from a regular job to your own business. You might be um, you know, expanding a side business so that it takes over your regular business. And so you're gradually moving one up and the other down. And so you could be moving into management. So lots of great career opportunities for you. Um, so this is a great time to dust off your resume, start putting your resume out there for positions. Even if you don't feel like you're totally qualified, you can learn on the job. So, um, yeah, this is where we see great change and opportunities. Okay. Snake natives, where we see all the energy and, and basically where you're the star is in career and your reputation. And this means that. It, you have some great opportunities for getting a better job, getting a promotion, uh, being seen by others as being helpful or uh, very uh, proficient or very skilled. So, you know, if you're looking for a new job, if you have your resume out there, all of these things, uh, anything where you're seen, you can rise to the top. So if you are wanting to do something in the public eye, this is a great year to do it because that's, that's where we see the strongest energy for you. Now, if you're trying to stay in your job, you will need some sort of movement because you are so noticeable. So that would be expanding your team or changing offices or doing something where you're, you're giving the appearance at least that you're moving forward because uh, other people are going to try and push you forward into new positions if, unless you're saying, nope, I'm already doing these other projects. Where we see you going back to something that you've done before is in the area of communication. And so one of the ways you could do this is maybe going back to study a language that you were working on before, you know, perhaps you were doing a foreign language and now you don't do it so much. And now you're returning to that. It also could be that you are working on your writing again. And so maybe you were writing a novel and now you're going back to that or that you were blogging and now you stopped and now you're going to go back to that. So these are the types of things where we see there's more communication happening. That's where you benefit by returning to a previous practice. When it comes to that area where you should let go of something, it's in your area of creativity. And so that doesn't mean stop doing something. It means release it into the world. So that is to take a creative project that you've been working on, stop procrastinating on it, even though it may not be perfect and just put it out there. And that could be your videos, your music, uh, your art projects, whatever you are creating, it is time to take it and send it out into the world. And yes, there's a risk of that. There's a risk every time you step out the door that somebody out there is going to criticize, but you're stronger than that. You, I mean, you, you can survive it. So, so it's, it's time to release your creativity into the world where we see a need to work harder is in your daily routines and your schedule. And that is that maybe you need a schedule. Maybe you're, you know, you just wake up in the morning and you just react to thing after thing. Uh, maybe this is that you, you have, you know, like you write down a couple of things on your list of things to do, and then you lose your list or you write down a billion things on your list of things to do and you never make a dent. So it is about looking at your schedule, maybe shifting from, you know, uh, a block schedule to something that's even more free form, or maybe it is shrinking your list of things to do. So you always get it done. Maybe it is, well, I don't think it's about letting go of your list. I think, I think if anything, you're, 
routines and your processes in this year need to be more structured than they were before because this is where you need to work harder at it and so generally that does say to operate in a structure and maybe if you have so many different interests it is about focusing on one interest for a week or a month and doing nothing else even if you just dying to work on those other things that you work on one thing until that is done and then move on to something else and that again would be how to work harder and how to give it a structure where you're getting help from the universe where you have your luck is in the area of relationships so that means that if you're looking for love this is a great year for that you can find uh, somebody who's compatible where there's a physical attraction where you both want to move forward on that so you have a lot of luck in that area you also can use this energy for getting a business partnership or close friendships it also means if you want to meet somebody who is outside of your sphere you can do that this year because you have the luck there so that would be you visualize meeting a particular person and then you will start to see that you meet people who are on the uh on the outer reaches of their sphere and then closer and closer to that person that's kind of that's a long way of saying like if you want to meet oprah you might first meet one of her gardeners and then you're meeting somebody closer and closer and closer but you will see that the universe will start to put you together with that six degrees of separation and you will eventually get to the person that you're looking for where you need to be kind to yourself is in the area of investing and debt and so if you've made mistakes in investing in the past it's time to forgive yourself it was a learning experience and it might have been a costly one but hopefully it didn't cost more than say Harvard and so as long as you learn something from it it had a benefit the same thing goes for debt if you are struggling with debt and some of these things were because you bought something not maybe because of a medical thing or something out of your control but if you did some extra shopping it's time to just say okay I did it I accept it I'm going to be kind to myself get it paid off and move on so this is where if you're just constantly beating yourself up then you don't want to even look at investing or you don't want to look at uh, how to get rid of debt that's not good so this is to be kind and compassionate of yourself to say look I that you did the best you could at the time and now that you know better you're going to do better where you're likely to change directions and move forward uh, towards success is in the area of education and so this may mean that you are going back to school or perhaps you are finishing school and so you're going to be moving on from there maybe you're going to be teaching or doing video courses or things like that so anything that's connected with education and this includes taking standardized tests or taking tests for uh, professional licenses or things like that this is where the big life-changing things and energy is going to happen and so if you're not thinking about going to school maybe it is time for you to teach a class or maybe you need to take some free online class and there's some some sort of part of that class that is just so life-changing opens up your mind to new possibilities so look for something to change your life in the area of education okay horse natives the area of your life that has the most emphasis in the tiger year is education and that means that you have lots of opportunities if you wanted to get scholarships if you wanted to find the right course if you want to connect with the right teacher if you are a teacher and you were looking for a position you have all of this great energy this year this of course would include studying abroad or studying at a particular um institution or university or school so so this is where the the most help and the most energy can come where we see you returning to a past practice and hopefully that's a best practice is in the area of finances so it's possible that you used to uh, keep to a written budget and you had since not done that for a while and now you're going back to that or maybe you were using the cash envelope system or uh Dave Ramsey's snowball or 
um, whatever that thing is called. So, so, but you're going back to some good practices you had around money and finances. And this is also a possibly that you maybe were selling off excess stuff and you will go back to that practice as well. So there's, you're returning to some good habits when it comes to your money, or at least you should, if you'd been thinking about doing it and you were hesitating, go back to those practices because that's where you'll find the benefit. When we look at what you should let go of, it is in the area of home and family. And so this could be that you are letting go of that excess stuff we were just talking about, that you're clearing out the home, uh, getting uh, rid of stuff that's piled up in your garage, your attic or basement or things like that. It is also possible that you are letting go of a home and so that you are moving. And that might be that, you know, maybe you're letting go of apartment living and now you're going to live in a house or vice versa because, you know, you can move from a owning a house to maybe an apartment so that you have more flexibility and that you don't have to pay for the roof when it leaks or things like that. Um, it's possible too that you are letting go of a family situation and so uh, arguments or resentments or you know perhaps you are moving away from some difficult members of the family or moving away from a difficult situation and by moving away that can be a physical moving away or just that you are stepping back not getting so involved not trying to take sides or help but more being that you know, kind of detached observer about what's going on. So, so this is the area where you're needing to release something or to let it go. Where we see a need to work harder, to really focus on things, to put in the hours is in the area of creativity. And this means to stop thinking that you want to create something and actually do it. And that is to pull out the paintbrushes or get out the guitar and work on this. And, you know, to do really good creative work takes time and it takes practice. And the more you practice at it, the better that you are going to get. But you have to get over that awkward period where, you know, you still things are not coming out the way you want. And again, that takes hours and practice. And this is where you're going to get the most benefit this year. If you really lean into these things, practice, focus on completing projects, uh, you know, and dealing with issues around perfectionism and what's holding you back. Where we see you getting help from the universe is in your daily routines, habits, and well-being. And so this is where if you are shifting a habit from a bad habit into something that's healthier, you're going to get a lot of support from the universe. And that is that people will step up to support you, that you will get uh, things, you know, in a material sense to benefit you, um, you know, like discounts on your insurance, uh, great doctors, um, you know, as you take care of yourself and, you know, through your habits, you know, like going to yoga class uh, can be a very healthful practice. And then you get a lot of friends and you get a lot of support. So this is where we see your luck and your support coming in. Where we see you needing to be kind to yourself is in the area of relationships. And this is for you to be compassionate about your situation to say, you know, if you are not in a position where you can meet a lot of people to be compassionate and say, all right, I understand why it's been hard to get into a relationship or being compassionate with yourself to say, I've been in tough relationships in the past. And so this could be why you're hesitating getting into a relationship in the future. And so, because once you acknowledge that, you know, you and empathize with your situation, the, the part of you that is trying to set up that alarm to say, you know, please, I, I need a hug here. When you do that, then your whole, your, your whole spirit relaxes and then you can meet somebody. Then you can feel confident about getting into a relationship. It, but it, it starts with treating yourself with kindness and compassion. And if you're willing to do that with other people, do it with yourself. Where we see the most change and progress and moving forward is in your area of business income, 
um, investments and passive income sources. This is a very strong area for you this year. And that means that you're going to find great investment opportunities. Uh, you're going to find people to help you make the investment decisions. Uh, you can find great business opportunities. You can expand in an existing business. You can find passive income opportunities and get the support you need to get into those. So you have a really great energy in this area. You want to capitalize on it by, you know, making changes. And that is by, by the change directions, it means not doing the same thing you've been doing over this last year or couple of years. So if you've been super Bitcoin and leveraged investments, the change could be that you're going Berkshire Hathaway, you know, high conservative all the way. Or maybe you were, you know, looking at a passive income source through rental property and now you want to do online courses or something like that. So there is a change happening and that's changes is, is starting with you, not something external. But if you change, then you get better results. That's that's the key here. Okay, goat or sheep or ram, you guys are doing this great tiger energy in your area of passive income sources, business income and investments. And so this is the area that's really highlighted for you this year. And that means you have many more opportunities than usual in these areas. So that is if you have wanted to have your own business or expand your business or find more ways to make income where I, I you know we call it passive income but it's more like scalable income where instead of just selling to one person you're selling to multiple people or of course just regular investments this is where you're getting the most help the most support and where the universe is trying to point you in the direction of so to say you know like if this is all areas that you have not paid a lot of attention to in the past, then it started, uh, it's good to take some of those baby steps to get involved in that. <laughs> Sorry, there's a storm going on outside and it's blowing everything around outside. So anyway, that's, <laughs> that's why I was a little distracted. Now, when we look at what you are going back to do, something that you have done before, it's in the area of your physical self. And so this might be that you used to work out a lot. And so you're going back to the gym. Uh, maybe you um, were dressing up and lately you've just been in sweats and now you're going to dress up again. Uh, it could be that you're returning to an old hairstyle or something like that. So there's something about your physical self that you are nostalgic for. And so you're going back to that and this is this is the direction the universe is pointing to you so maybe you were more confident at that time maybe you felt better about yourself and that's why you're heading in that direction when we uh, look at the area of what you should let go of it's in your area of communication and so that is to release your words into the world so if you've been writing a screenplay or a novel it's time to finish it and publish it or if it is just that you need to communicate with others that you have all these thoughts and ideas and you need to maybe either get them on paper or get them onto a podcast or uh, maybe maybe your ideas need to be patented or copyrighted or trademarked or something so it is time to put what's in your head out into the world through communication this can also include singing if you do some sort of music that is vocal um, then that is something to think about putting out into the world as well where we see that you have to work harder and if you do you'll get some success is in the area of home and family and so it might mean something very practical like you're renovating the house or that you're doing this deep declutter and so there is a lot of effort needed to make success but it also could be that you need to work harder at the relationships with your family that you know maybe somebody needs more help in the family and so you're juggling that with your regular job or perhaps it's your homeschooling the kids or something like that uh, so or maybe maybe the family is just tough you know like it's it's hard to get along with people but if you guys work at it or if you work at it then you do see benefits so all of this is you know 
it is that reminder that sometimes effort is what brings the success. And for you this year, it's in home and family. Where we see your most luck and opportunities and where things just seem to come together is in the area of creativity. And so that is lots and lots of creative ideas are coming to you this year. Uh, you might be very inspired to do art or music or as we were talking about the writing before. So, and this is where if you put something out into the universe, it could go viral. It could be much bigger than you expect. You could have more success. Um, people could really like what you're doing. And so this is where you have more luck. And so that's, you want to focus on your creativity. Where you need to be kind to yourself is in the area of uh, habits and schedules. And this is that if you fall back into some bad habits to be kind and compassionate with yourself, but you know, to say, not that, oh, the diet's ruined or, you know, I can't believe that I started doing this again, but to say, oh, I slipped and now you can go forward again. So there's, there's this idea that by being kind to yourself, you actually can make more progress. You're more quick to get out of a bad cycle and into something positive. And the same goes with your schedule. If you've been super hard on yourself about not following your schedule or changing things in your schedule to be understanding with yourself to show yourself some empathy to do what you would do with other people you know if if they you know maybe they're late for an appointment and so you can be compassionate with them and then they will be compassionate with you the next time so this is where you need to be kind to yourself and where we see the biggest change of directions and the most forward movement is in the area of relationships. And this means that if you're looking for love, this is a great time where you can find somebody to fall in love with, where you have a great connection, where there's opportunities to move the relationship to something that's truly a commitment. Additionally, you show that there's there's a lot of change in this area. So that could mean going out with someone who's very different than you've ever gone out with before. This can mean that you are leaving an old relationship and going into something new. It's also possible that you're getting a new friend or that a business partnership is going to happen. These are also the types of relationships we see for this area. Okay, monkey natives, for the year of the tiger, you, the area that's highlighted in your chart is relationships. And so this is where you're going to see a lot of activity, a lot of help from the universe, a lot of synchronicity and things coming together. So if you're looking for a relationship, this is an excellent year for you because there are going to be numerous possibilities for you to get involved with someone. If you are looking for a business partnership or collaborations to do or a mentor, you have really good energy here because you have a lot of people stepping up to say they want to help you out. So this is where even, even by doing just small things, you can get some big results. When we look at something that you're nostalgic for, something you want to bring from your past back in, we see it's in the area of spirituality and psychic ability. And so maybe you used to use the tarot on a regular basis, or you were using your pendulum or doing muscle testing or something like that. And now you're going to do it again. Or perhaps you were working on, you know, psychic studies, uh, you know, psychic self-defense or learning to be a psychic medium. And now you're going back to that regular study. You might be bringing rituals and those sort of practices into your daily life. Also, maybe you used to uh, do magical things with herbs or time things by the moon. And now you're going to start doing that again. When we look at what you should let go of, it falls in your area of money and stuff. And so starting with stuff, because that makes a lot of sense that it's it's probably time to let go of excess stuff. And that might be that you're selling off stuff, that you are letting, you know, like giving things away, donating things, getting rid of broken things. It's, you know, it's so much easier these days to acquire things than it is to let go of things. I mean, when you, when you let go of something, you have to put it in the car and drive it over to the charity shop or something like that. Whereas, you know, when I'm acquiring things, I just push a button and it shows up at my door. So that that's where 
it may be necessary for you really to focus on letting go. Also, because this is in your house of money, it is letting go of bad spending habits, uh, money issues that you have, looking at money blocks you have and letting go of that. You might actually have to let go of a little bit of money also. And that might be if you're really holding on to a situation where you're owed something and, and yet it is you know, taking up your time and energy to try to pursue this, to try and get it back. Maybe it's time to just let it go and let the universe give you the, that money from some other source. So, you know, if, if you're tr like, if you're hooked on like, Oh, I've got to get this. Remember that thing is hooking you too. And so it, it feels like, like you're chained to something you want to break free. So when we look at working harder to get some really great results, it falls in your area of communication. And so this is learning how to communicate better and that's going to bring you huge results, but it does mean some work. And so that could mean like, you know, studying body language or looking at, uh, you know, different modalities of how people communicate. Are they kinesthetic? Are they very visual? It might be paying attention to the words that people use. Are they using distancing language? Or, you know, is there something that you said that put them off? And can you then through diplomatic means get back together? This could be also working through contracts or agreements, you know, getting things in writing, really hashing out the terms of things. And additionally, this is about working on your inner thoughts and how you are, you know, either being kind to yourself um, in what you're saying to yourself, or if you're not working at eliminating negative thinking or limiting beliefs or things like that. Where we see the most luck and opportunity for you is in the area of home and family. And so that can be that you can find a great place to live or that you can stay in your current place if that was at risk for something. Uh, it is also when it comes to family. So if you've wanted to expand the family, you know, maybe get pregnant or adopt or adopt a pet or have somebody come and live with you. All of those things have a great deal of luck around them. You can even use this luck to help uh, get older members of the family into good living facilities, uh, to get your kids out of the house and things like that. So this is where your luck is centered. Where you need to be kind to yourself is in the area of creativity. And that is to look at what you're doing on a creative side and be more compassionate about how long it takes to learn how to do art or music and and also to be compassionate with yourself during the process you know um there's there's a guy who does videos on youtube i will put a link to his uh channel in the description um if he talks about uh, trusting the process he's an artist and i i had never thought about it because you know i'm primarily a writer and so you know, but as, as I write and as he's doing art, the, the finished product, the finished product is so different than, than the process itself. And during the process, it's so easy to say to yourself, oh, this is terrible. And why am I doing this? And to get, you know, really down on yourself. And when we see this energy about being kind to yourself in creativity, it is to trust that process and so that you know that eventually it's because you work at it and you hone it and you shift it, you know, like you do all of these things that you can get that good product that you're looking for, the good results that you're looking for. So anyway, I'll put a link to his videos in the description. And finally, where we see you making the most changes and having the biggest results, the, the most success is in the area of routines and schedules. And that is by adopting a, a way of scheduling yourself or writing lists or you know keeping track of your progress this is where you make the most benefits but this also shows the biggest change so maybe you don't have anything that you do with schedules maybe you just kind of wake up and allow you know the universe or other people to dictate what you're going to do maybe you have felt in the past trapped by a schedule or felt that there would be no spontaneity or no joy or something like that but this says 
in adopting some different method, some different way, then you have a breakthrough. And so if you are a person who does lots of schedules and you were scheduled to the nth degree, maybe this is to release yourself from the schedule a little bit. So uh, this is a way to, <laughs> this is how you're going to change your direction and get success is by looking at schedules and looking at routines. Okay, Rooster, the, this energy for the Year of the Water Tiger is lighting up your area of schedules and routines, habits, uh, you know, all of the processes that you do to be productive. And so this is where you're getting a lot of help and assistance. And that means you might stumble on a great new system for making lists or keeping schedules that ups your productivity. Perhaps you are now able to release negative habits and adopt really good habits. Maybe you're doing habit stacking or mini habits and so you're finding that by tweaking your day and changing things just small tiny things in your life that you are 10 xing your productivity you're getting so much better results so this is where your chart is lit up this year where we see you doing something that you have done before is returning to a group or organization you used to belong to and getting some benefit and so maybe this is something that you were on the board with a professional organization or a charity before and now you're returning to a board position or perhaps this is that you were just a member but now you're going to be a member again this is also about friendships and reconnecting with people from your past maybe friends you had from college or high school and now you are connecting with them again and that's you know giving you this big boost or maybe this is that that you know, you've just kind of lost track of some of the friends you have made more recently. And so now you're getting together on a regular basis again, and all of this is bringing you benefit. When we look at what you should let go of uh, this year, it is focused on your physical self. And so this could be that you are changing your body shape in some way. It could be that you are letting go of old wardrobe items or a style that you've had for a long time. Maybe you are letting go of an old hairstyle, but a lot of this centers around confidence and how you present yourself. And so that's the main thing to be letting go of is a lack of confidence or some hesitation in putting yourself out in the world because if if you are you know caught up in the this idea that you don't maybe weigh the same as you used to or you're older than you used to be or any of those things that just happen it's time to let go of those things as reasons to stop you and to focus your energy on the other person because when you do then the they're not really looking at you they're just happy that you're focusing on them and so you know taking the time to look at what you can let go of and taking the steps to do that but also to let go of a lack of confidence or insecurities or things like that. Where you need to put in some effort and if you do, you will get great success is in the area of finances. So if you focus on making money, making good money choices, bringing in more money, um, you know, budgeting, uh, not spending, you will have enormous success this year. Now, this is your area of hard work. So it does say that you have to lean in, you know, nose to the grindstone, really focus on doing better. But if you, you know, like any mountain that you're climbing, when you get to the summit, everything's great. So that's, that's what this is about, that you could come to the end of the year and have substantially more money, much less debt, be really happy with your choices. And that's because you worked hard in this area. Where you have lots of luck this year is in the area of communication. And so that is, if you ask for something, you often will receive it, maybe not from the source that you were expecting, but from someone. And so that is to speak your mind, ask for what you want, make sure that you speak up and tell people, you know, hey, I'm here, and that will bring you opportunities. Now, this is also that you could have good luck in the area of blogging, writing a novel, a screenplay, teaching, any sort of any sort of writing songwriting all of that so communication is where your luck is 
Where you need to be kind to yourself is in the area of home and family. And that is that, you know, maybe you're hard on yourself because the house doesn't stay tidy, or maybe you're hard on yourself because of where you live, or perhaps because of your upbringing or something like that. And it's just time to be compassionate with yourself, be empathetic, to be understanding. And as you do, you will be able to implement changes in this area if you want to do so. But you can also say, you know what, I'm just gonna accept my house as it is for now because you're working on other areas of your life. And this is also about being compassionate with family members and because they may be struggling with things that they're doing. And so it is about you being kind to yourself by saying, you know what, I'm not going to try to fix this person's life. And if they're trying to fix your life to say, you know what, I'm okay the way I am. Where we see the most change and the most success is in your area of creativity. And so that means that as you create things, and these can be music or arts or you know, writing or anything that you're producing, you could have enormous success. It means that your ideas, they they are good and you know, it's, it's just time to go and do those things. Now it does say that change is needed. And that means that maybe if you're not doing, you have to uh, not doing it, you have to start doing it. If you are holding back, you have to put it out into the world. You have to tell people about it. So in the area of creativity, it can also mean that you need to look at some slightly different way of doing something. You know, if, you're, if your video channel or your YouTube channel is not taking off, looking at similar channels and saying, well, what are they doing? And is there something here that I could do? Or looking at completely different channels and saying, you know, what are some good ideas here? What are some best practices? Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of different things that you can do when you are kind to yourself, compassionate, and you're willing to make a change. And so the change energy is in this area this time. Okay, dog natives, the tiger year is bringing lots of energy and opportunities for you in the area of creativity. So if you do anything creative, that is, you know, art or jewelry or music or design, anything like that, you have some really great opportunities. And this is where, where, you know, people could come to you and, and take something you've done and you could build a business out of it, or you could, you know, change your life through it. This is where you're going to get the support. And so that is, you could find teachers or people who can give you the supplies you need or things like that. So this is the area that's highlighted. So think of the creative things you want to do, the fun things that you want to do and spend some time doing those and you will see benefits. When we look at something you might be going back to do that you've done before, it's in the area of career. So you may be returning to a profession you've done before or even the actual company. So perhaps you left a company or you were laid off or something like that and now you are going back to that company. Maybe you are going to go work for a same manager even though it's at a different company but you're gonna work with the same manager or similar, you know, like the same employees you worked with before. Um, but it's also a possibility that, you know, maybe you were in the retail industry and you haven't been there for a while and now you're going back to the retail or maybe food service industries. So this is about doing something you've done before. And, you know, it, it may feel like, you know, in some ways that that's going backwards, but oftentimes, you know, if you have had trouble finding something new or you just need more time to do your own projects, you wanna go back to something that is familiar, familiar turf, uh, familiar territory, so that you can then not have to think about that so much so you can put all of your brain power into that new thing that you're starting on the side. When we look at what you're letting go of it is in your area of insecurities and that is to stop second guessing yourself, to stop saying that you are less or you're not smart or any of the other things that you're saying that are actually holding your back holding yourself back or are excuses that you're using so that you don't have to do something that might be a little bit scary. So letting go of the insecurities by saying, you know, 
yes, that life can be very challenging, but you can take risks, especially when it comes to you know, saying that you can do something, um, volunteering for a responsibility, um, taking on a leadership role, any of these things you can do if you will just stop questioning yourself, let it, you know, putting yourself down, um, you know, making things harder for yourself than you have to. Now, where we see you get the most benefit from working hard is in the area of confidence. So how perfect is that, right? So this is where you do need to push yourself to get out there and be seen. That is to put your name on something that you're doing instead of hiding behind, you know, like a company name or to, you know, like just hiding in general. Um, this is to ask somebody on a date, to tell people that you will speak to their group, to take, say uh, that you'll take a board member position, like you will step up and do something that maybe you think is hard, maybe you think is outside of even your wheelhouse, but you're going to try it anyway. This is where if you work hard, you're going to get enormous success by the end of the year, you could be far more confident than you are. Where you show the most luck and just things coming together is in the area of finances. And so, you know, when you're, when you do those other things we were talking about, letting go of insecurities and, and really pushing yourself forward so that, you know, people see you and know your name, money's going to come in. And so that means that you have opportunities to make more through your job, through a side business, through receiving money from random places, selling things for a more of a profit. Like there's some great money opportunities here. There's also a lot of assistance that the universe is giving you when it comes to budgeting, to uh, keep you from impulse spending and things like that. So you have a lot of support in this area and a lot of luck. Where we see that you need to be kind to yourself is in the area of communication. And so most of this is around how you talk to yourself, what you're saying to yourself in your own mind. Uh, are you being supportive of yourself? Are you saying kind things? Are you saying loving things? I mean, can you actually look in a mirror and say, I love you? Uh, because by doing that, you can help clear through a lot of mental blocks, a lot of insecurities. Uh, this is something that uh, the author Louise Hay uh, really advocated in her books. I can leave a link to those books in the description. Uh, but this is about looking at what you think about, you know, the thoughts that are running through your mind all the time and making those not pie in the sky, you know, unicorn happy, you know, fluffy stuff, but real stuff that is positive, you know, to the, the benefit of the doubt that you would give somebody else, the confidence that you would have in somebody else to give it to yourself. So that's, that's where you need to be kind to yourself. And where we see the most change in your life, the biggest change of directions and the most success is in the area of home and family. So this could mean that you are moving, that you are going to change residences or that you are bringing a business into the home. And so the success comes through that. Uh, it is possible that somebody is moving out or that somebody is moving in. It is possible that you are, you know, like helping your, your adult kids get out or you're finding great place for your parents. You could be bringing the family together, maybe a family reunion or pulling the family together for a family business. But we do see a lot of change at home. So this also could mean there's some renovations going on, construction, redecorating, and all of that is bringing you benefit. Okay, for pig or boar, the year of the tiger is putting the highlight on home and family, which is a great area for you anyway. And so you're gonna find a lot of support in this area. And that means that you can find a great apartment, you can find a house at a reasonable deal, um, you can get 
get a good interest rate uh, well, these days who you know that's pretty easy but um, you can uh, possibly refinance you can find contractors or construction people to help you out but also a good relationship with your family is going on and that is highlighted so the family might be expanding there might be a child coming in or puppy or kitten um, it is possible that everybody's getting settled in the family and there's there's just more of a sense of harmony and joy this year when we look at something that you are repeating or going back to something you've done before it's in your area of education so you might be going back to school or you might be going back to teaching uh, it is possible that you are studying something that you studied before maybe you were studying a foreign language before and you're going back to that study or some other uh, interesting thing that you were just you just got excited about again you know, after a break of not studying it you're back doing it but most likely you could be finishing a degree or going back to school or taking some courses again so you're in study mode when we look at what would be wise for you to let go of it's in the area of friends and groups and organizations and so this might be that you need to step down from being a board member on a group or getting you need to pull away from a group that you belong to. Perhaps you have a set of friends where they're not really doing so much with their lives and that is kind of pulling you into that sort of vortex. Maybe you just need to step back. You don't need to necessarily, you know, X them completely out of your life, but maybe not spend so much time with them. But this is mostly looking at how you are involved in the community and seeing what obligations you can let go of in that way so that you have more time for other things. Where we see that you would benefit a great deal by working harder is in your area of psychic ability and spirituality and intuition. And so you may want to do something more structured in this area. I mean, perhaps you've been working with your intuition, but now it's time to work with the pendulum or the tarot cards or something like that. Maybe you have dabbled with magical practices, but now it's time to, you know, learn about herbs or to work with candles or things like that. Perhaps Perhaps this is about going to a uh, more structured religion uh, and doing a regular practice there where you're involved with a church and you are studying sacred texts and things like that. So this is about being more spiritual, but in a very structured manner where you are actually working on it and that's going to bring you really great benefits. Where we see the most luck is with you. And so that is the more you put yourself out there, the more you tell people your name, the more you, you know, emerge from your home, the more luck you have. So that is, you know, posting on social media, of course, positive stuff works best, but by posting on social media, by going to parties, social events, uh, saying hi to people, connecting with people, that's where the luck comes in. And so that's when, you know, like you say hi to somebody and they tell you about a job opening or you reach out to someone you haven't talked to in a while and they say, Ooh, let's do a coffee date or something like that where you need to be kind to yourself and show yourself some compassion is in the area of budgeting money and stuff and so this is to recognize that in the past you've made mistakes you know and some of those mistakes might be hanging in your closet right now and you need to show yourself some compassion because until you do you're unlikely to change if you're just beating yourself up and saying, oh, I should not have bought those things or I'm terrible with my money or something like that, you are not helping yourself grow. It would be better for you to really focus on, you know, being kind to yourself, being understanding. If, if you were raised with very little money in your life, it is understandable that you might be hoarding stuff now. Or if you were, um, uh, you know, if you went through a period of time where uh, you were really very strict on the budget and now you've gone home, really the other direction, 
you you can't get back to that budget by beating yourself up you have to be compassionate with yourself so this is this is where you want you know money and stuff this is where you want to be kind to yourself and then where we see the most change in your life where you're really likely to change directions and have great success is in the area of communication so this could be that you're writing or blogging or teaching or doing videos or singing or doing music or something like that but it is also possibly that you are changing how you are internally speaking to yourself and that is so noticeable to other people and this could be through meditation or journaling or affirmations you might consider that that all of your communication right now is is the thing that if you will look at it and say is this the best thing to say is this the best direction to go and look for ways to change it and that could be that maybe with certain people you start out and you instantly get irritated or perhaps you give them a pass automatically and making a change in this area could bring you huge success so look at how you communicate with yourself, how you communicate with others, including, you know, writing or teaching. And so, you know, like if you have a book that you've been sitting on for a long time, maybe it's time to get it published. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and stay tuned because LaRue wants to say hi.